Hi everyone, welcome back to Chemistry with Kat. I post a new video every single day at 9 a.m. and I'm here to help you ace chemistry. Today we are going to be learning how to calculate average molar mass. When I was prepping this video, I went through my university materials. Not once was I asked to calculate the average molar mass on an exam, but I was asked to do it in a lab quiz, and it was taught in the course. So I figured I'd do a really quick lesson just teaching you how to do it in case you ever need it. Let's go. The question tells us that the solution has three molecules in it, sodium chloride, calcium chloride, and silicon dioxide. It tells us the moles of each one. Now, if the question doesn't tell you the moles, you will have to find the moles because we need the moles of each for the equation. Now, if you're given the mass, you can use my moles, mass, and molar mass video to find the moles. But if you're given the number of molecules or the number of atoms, you're going to need to use Avogadro's number to find the number of moles, and I will link that here. If you look at the equation for average molar mass, which is just the molar mass with the line on top, it has the moles of A times the molar mass of A plus the moles of B times the molar mass of B, plus the moles of C times the molar mass of C, divided by the total moles. So you'll have to calculate the molar mass, and if you need a review, please go watch my moles mass and molar mass video. The molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.44 grams per mole. Calcium chloride is 110.98, grams per mole. Silicon dioxide is 60.09 grams per mole. All right, we can start plugging it in. So we're gonna have the moles of A, so we'll use sodium chloride as A, 0 0.187 moles times 58.44 grams per mole plus B, which is calcium chloride, we have 0 0.850 times the molar mass 110.98. And then we add C, which is silicon dioxide, 1.250 mole times 60.09 grams per mole. Now we divide all of that by the total moles. Now I didn't calculate this first, so what I'm gonna do is just do a bracket and add these. 0 0.187 plus 0 0.850 plus 1.250. When I plug this into my scientific calculator with all these brackets, I get 81.04 grams per mole as the average molar mass. This is a very tedious question and there are so many steps, but it's a great way for teachers to test if you actually know how to find moles and how to find molar mass and then how to use multiplication and addition together in an equation. Now remember, because we do it like this where we multiply each mole times the molar mass, it's called a weighted average, which means that not all of these molecules are present equally in the mixture. So the average molar mass is going to reflect the molecule that is present the most. In this case, there is only a little bit of sodium chloride, 0 0.187. Really, most of the mixture is silicon dioxide and calcium chloride. This is 60 grams per mole and 110. And we see that in our average being 81, it's between those numbers. And that's it for average molar mass. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I am here every day at 9 a.m. Comment what you wanna see next, and I will see you tomorrow.